Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to overcome a limitation of mounting window shares when using the KDE desktop in Linux. So let's go. All right, guys, so to illustrate what I'm talking about with the window shares in KDE, I'm going to go into Dolphin File Manager, which is the default file manager in KDE, and I'm going to navigate to one of my window shares that I've connected to. So this one right here, I've mapped to my server. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to ask me for my credentials here so I'll put those in real quick and then we're connected up and I can browse through and I can you know open any of these uh, files or folders that I want to the problem is if we want to open those from a third-party application outside of Dolphin so for instance if I open up GIMP and then try to open a file from that share when I go to open there's nothing in places even though I have this set up places in uh, Dolphin so this is not system-wide this is just contained within Dolphin. Uh, if I go to my home directory, there's no mount points where this folder is, or the share is mounted. If I go out to the file system and go to MNT, there's nothing in MNT where it's mounted. Uh, let me go back up a level here and go to media. The Steve is just because my username on the system is Steve. If we go in there, there's nothing mounted there. So there's no place to get to these files from within GIMP. So the way we're going to solve that, and there's a few ways to do this, but um, the way I'm going to show you now, in my opinion, is the uh, e easiest and most portable, especially if you're on a laptop. So we're going to use an application called SMB4K. So this is a application that's available in the default repositories. So we're just going to do a sudo apt install SMB4K. And that's going to go out to the default repositories, find that, install it, and it just takes a few seconds here. It's a real small application. There we go. It's all set. So now we're going to load up SMB4K. So in here, we have a network neighborhood similar to what's in Windows, a network search and a mounted shares that shows us all the shares that are mounted. So I'm going to go into network neighborhood, and I know the name of the share that I want to connect to, and it's a hidden share. So even if I browse to it, through here it wouldn't show up so I'm going to use this open mount dialog box here and I'm going to enter in the UNC address with which is the full address with the server name and the share name so in my case this is omv slash steve and then the IP address is the IP address of this server that's used in that UNC pass so let's do 192.168.1.10 in my case and my work group is the default work group so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to check this add share to bookmarks um, just to make it easier to access next time and click OK. It's going to go and connect and mount that share and it wants me to validate the information for the bookmark. I'm going to hit OK. And now if we go to mounted shares we can see that OMV slash Steve is mounted. So now if we go into Dolphin again we can see down in the devices list, we now have this entry for Steve on OMV. Now that gets mounted into a folder that gets created in your home directory. So once you set that up, in your home directory, there'll be an SM, SMB4K folder, and in that will be the server that's specified in this UNC path, and then the share that's specified. So if you have multiple servers, you'll see multiple entries under here, and if you have multiple shares that you're connecting to under one server you'll see multiple entries here so in this case we go to steve and the things that we see in here are exactly the same as the items that we see in here so now if we go out to gimp and do an open we can see that we have an entry for steve right here that leads us out to that network share. If that weren't there, we could still navigate it. If we go to our home directory, SMB4K, OMV, Steve, we can access those files there. So now we have access to those files both within Dolphin and outside of Dolphin using SMB4K. And the nice thing about SMB4K is it adds a little um, icon into the panel. So right now I'm using Latte Doc, which uh, creates a, a panel up here, but it does it in, in the default panel as well. And it creates this little widget-like thing, a uh, shortcut up here. And if you right-click on there, you can go to your bookmarks, and you'll see all your bookmarks that you have created. Now, 
The reason why I selected that bookmark is next time I log in, I can set uh, SMB 4K to auto launch. And then when I come to this bookmark, I can go to mount all bookmarks and it'll just mount all my network chairs. Now, there's another way to do it with editing the uh, configuration files and having those shares mount as soon as you log in. The problem is that it doesn't work so well on a laptop because it adds some time to the log on and log off as well um, if you're on a laptop and you're not near those those locations to mount those drives but with the smb 4k you can control when you mount those so if you're at home you can just hit that up mount all bookmarks it'll mount your shares and you're good to go if you're out away from your home not near the server then you don't access that so that's it guys that's a, a real simple uh, solution to um, kind of a problem that I had when I first started using uh, KDE. I was used to using uh, Budgie and GNOME where you know you mount that in the file manager and it's mounted basically system-wide. KDE is a little bit different but with SMB 4K you can work around that real easily. I hope you guys found this useful and informative. If you did, hit that uh, rate and uh, the subscribe button and uh, rate the video, give me a thumbs up. Leave comments in the description. If you wanna see any other tutorials or you have any questions about this one, please go ahead and uh, leave those. Um, I am on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and I'm now on uh, Transmission as well. So go ahead and hit me up on any of those and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.